welcome to London History at Home's Advent Calendar uh, and we're up to the 14th of December so let's open door number 14 to reveal a Tudor Christmas. So in Tudor London um, all Londoners would have enjoyed parties between the 25th of December and 12th night. Uh, it was kind of understood that businesses and landowners would have limited work and limited opening hours uh, so that everybody could enjoy a bit of feasting and a bit of partying uh, in the Christmas period, not just uh, the, the rich folk uh, like Elizabeth I here dancing with Robert Dudley. Uh, they would have had the finest parties though, the, the, the best parties were down at the Royal Palace. In 1509, uh, when King Henry VIII was just a young man of 19 and, uh, and had only just become king actually, just that year, earlier that year, his Christmas celebration of 1509 uh, cost 13.5 million pounds, the equivalent uh, today of 13.5 million pounds, which was more than the taxes for the whole of England for the whole of that year. Uh, so King Henry VIII liked to spend a lot on Christmas and everything else really. Uh, later in Henry VIII's reign, an Italian visitor said that Christmas dinner at, um, I think it was at Greenwich at that point, lasted seven hours. Uh, for Christmas dinner. I've dragged my heels at Christmas dinner, I've never managed to make it seven hours. His daughter Queen Elizabeth I would generally spend Christmas at Whitehall Palace. Um, Whitehall Palace was a favourite for, for uh, a, a, a few reigns actually uh, from the Tudors and Stuarts. Uh, a Christmas favourite was Whitehall Palace. Um, often that was because uh, their banqueting house was in Whitehall Palace where they could have performances. Uh, Shakespeare performed Love's Labour's Lost for Elizabeth I at the Banqueting House in Whitehall at Christmas 1597 uh, and King Lear for King James I on Boxing Day of 1608. Uh, so Shakespeare was getting in on the Christmas action uh, at Whitehall Palace as well, hopefully they saved the turkey leg. Um, I, I think an important highlighting of the importance of tidying up responsibly uh, after a Christmas party uh, can be found at the Banqueting House uh, in 1619. So this is the banqueting house that Shakespeare and Elizabeth I would have known. Uh, they had a New Year's party uh, at the banqueting house in 1619 and the builders were clearing up afterwards and, and they decided that probably the best way to get rid of all the debris was to set fire to it inside the building. I think you can see where this is going. Whole of banqueting house burned down uh, and they had to rebuild it. So the building we see today uh, is what rebuilt it. So if you are having a Christmas party or a New Year's party, clear up responsibly afterwards. <laughs> 